Martin, thanks very much for joining us. Interesting to get your perspective, particularly on the private debt markets. And we've seen quite a lot of new players coming in. And what are you seeing, I suppose, in terms of growth here in Europe? In general, I think this is a, a strong growing market currently. And when you take a look back in, in, in history, you see that this growth took place since um, the financial crisis in 2009. Yeah? So what we currently see before COVID that we had in the private debt market, yeah, additional at least 20 up to 25 uh, new incepted funds uh, in the re uh, private debt industry. Then we had a small decline in 2020 uh, due to COVID that went down, I think, to, to 16 um, uh, new funds. But now we see also that in 2021, the market is coming back again. Yeah? And I expect that we will, we will see the same figure as the years uh, before COVID. All in all, um, the entire market is currently, yeah, it's 80 billion big in Europe. Yeah? And um, as we're working in a, in, a, in a market where we see a more and more restrictive credit policy by the banks or by the traditional banks, yeah? and uh, also more and more increasing regulatory environment. Yeah? Things are getting harder for the traditional banks and on this, in the same moment, um, the need for a alternative uh, in, uh, financing source is really necessary and is asked for. We see that, yeah. So I believe um, as the real estate market, especially when it comes to the preferred locations, yeah, and, and the asset classes, residential, but also commercial, yeah, there is uh, a lot of demand for financing, for capital, yeah that um, these two influences, so on the one hand, the real estate market, and on the other hand, the, 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 the change in the, in the financing market, this will lead to a, a significant growth, or I expect a significant growth in, in the real estate private debt market. And I suppose from the HFS um, perspective, um, what are you looking to, to lend on? And I suppose, where are you seeing the opportunities at the yeah, moment? Yeah, sure. So HFS, maybe you know, yeah, is, is probably uh, one of the first moves who, who discovered uh, private debt business in the real estate market. Yeah? So uh, HFS was incepted in 2009, so as a logical answer on, on the financial crisis. And of course, we started with, with real estate mezzanine financing. Um, so, um, and uh, we had an incredible growth. We started in 2009 with 85 million equity in the fund. And today with nearly 1.4 billion, we're one of the largest in the market and really have a market leading role. Yeah? So I think um, to answer your question, we will of course continue in doing this mezzanine financing. Yeah? Here especially, um, we ha of course have a large share in developers and development projects yeah? because here in this case, um, uh, mezzanine financing that are, are probably also a large demand for. But on the other hand, we had the, the rollout of our senior fund um, in early autumn this year, and uh, now we can also cover the, the senior tranche. So that means HFS can cover the entire capital structure of a real estate investment throughout the entire life cycle, you know? And um, this is also a great advantage of these typical private debt structures because, you know, we can provide the money in case we have a positive outcome of our credit approval process in quite fast time. Normally we need, we need four weeks, yeah? <laughs> then um, HFS is considered as an absolutely reliable partner. People have a certain certainty on their capital structure planning. Yeah, that's very important. And uh, by this, we have, we have large demand currently. Yeah? We, I, currently, I have a pipeline worth 500 million euro yeah? with really high quality product. And so I'm quite sure that uh, this market will, will develop further. And HFS, as in the past, will hopefully have a very leading role in this market. Great. Thanks very much for joining us, Martin. Thank you.